what is up everybody welcome to another video of shadow fight arena this is going to be the third episode of tips and tricks today i'm going to give some tips and tricks to master jack bulwark according to the game it is hard to master him and in fact he is hard to master you're gonna take couple of days to get used to it but after watching this video the process will become much much faster because you're gonna know everything you need to know about jack bulwark so hey guys this is a fight and let's start our video so talking first about his special abilities. The main thing which makes Jack a beast character in Arena is his Shadow Fortress. When an opponent will enter Shadow form, Jack will block each and every attacks when he is attacking the enemy and no damage will be taken by him. Additional abilities only winning up include Shadow Fortress activation on low health and Shadow Fortress box will start to kill you. The Shadow Fortress can even block the blast of Kivo, Fire Guard and even Emperor. The next ability for him is his Bone Breaker ability. These are just like fractures on your enemy. The more you hit your enemy, the more weaker your enemy's defense gets. Some additional tenets on leveling up you get additional damage after inflicting 10 fractures and you will to get unlimited fractures to make your attacks more deadly with aggression ability. Next up we are gonna talk about some shadow abilities which Bulwark uses. So you are gonna get all the shadow abilities unlocked at level 1 only. So there is no additional set abilities which you need to unlock on leveling up. First is the slam and crash ability. This ability is great in short and medium distances from the enemy as it is a massive damage and a good amount of combos. The next is the meteor ability. This ability is so special in my opinion cause you need to have a proper distance from the enemy and proper timing to make this ability successful. I personally don't use this ability much and often and it's useless I think so until and unless it's the right time to use it. Jack being a legendary has unregular attacks at some point of attacking and has a great defense along with great attack damage. And here is a fun fact, if you, if you get defeated by a character, the fractures still remain upon the opponent character and his defense is still weak and as a result, your next character can clean the opponent character up very very easily. Now before going to the gameplay, I wanna tell you that you can bet any dozo level but I'm pretty sure that Jack is never going to disappoint you and I guarantee that. So Jack can be your primary or secondary character at each and every fight you do after getting hit at dozer level 6, keep that in mind. 